Hey guys and welcome to the channel, I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and today we're back with another episode of The Good, The Scrap and The Script, a series where I review weapons I've found, made or been given in Appalachia, and see how well they do. And today we are following the trend of me using energy explosive weapons that didn't have explosive on them not long ago. Either way, like, comment, subscribe, let's get on with this. All hail Vice President Sidearm. So, this one is a Gauss pistol with bloodied, explosive, and that's critical charge. Now, when it comes to Gauss weapons, I absolutely love the pistol, I love the rifle, and yeah, I've been very eager to test this one out and see how well it does. I already know it's going to be good. I just want you guys to see it. And obviously, here's what the build we're currently using. Obviously, you can see there's some perks missing because it's not optimized. I'm not showing you a build video. Just look at what I'm using. Move on. Ah, smelly old West Egg. Where we come to shoot super mutants in the face. Well, that worked. So, first impressions. It one-shots them. And that isn't even, like, crits. If I fire it into, like, a normal shot, we're not in VATS, it is still hurting quite a significant amount. I saw 600 followed by a 252 there. Uh, this thing is doing some pretty damn impressive damage. And its accuracy doesn't seem to be all too bad either. And obviously, because it's a one-shot, one-kill at the moment, we are getting a lot and I do mean a lot out of this. We're getting our ammo back. I saw a 600 pop up there. I don't know what that was for, but I think that might have been for the uh, the far-flung fireworks effect that I've got on my character. But you're seeing this thing is... Oh, that was a legendary. This thing is damn impressive. This is doing some pretty consistent damage and is possibly the best single-shot pistol. It was before the patch. It certainly is now. It's doing very comparative damage to the already powerful Gauss rifle. Obviously, I'm using a bloodied variant for this, uh, opposed to the, the anti-armor variant I was using in my previous video, but you're seeing, like, the, the damage is pretty damn impressive. Like, I don't know why it just came up new explosive, but okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, but you're seeing the, the, the damage popping up is just... Insane, like hitting something in the head for 1.4k or 1.1k is just a massive amount of damage. So I think this is going to be a very fun weapon to use in general. Like I, I genuinely think 1596 it is just surpassing all expectations with this. Now for some reason Jeff decided to be awake this morning. So, yeah, he, we won't get to shoot him in the head a few times before he gets up, but we'll just take a couple of pot shots at him. And, for some reason, he was invincible there. Yeah. That did that. And with Jeff thoroughly dispatched, we come to Mirelark Queenie Beanie Bofini. Now, the thing is, she is still a big, dangerous bugger. But you're seeing... Like, look at this damage. Look at this absolutely insane damage. It's not quite 50%, but it's, it's like close to 50% damage with that explosion. It's actually really insane how much damage the explosion stuff does with these new Gauss variants uh, with the explosive effect. It is absolutely insane. And when you add stealth into the factor, it just makes them so good. So... As always, we come to expeditions, and what I would say about this weapon is... Ooh, eyes. <laughs> not eyes. That's not what I've got to say about this weapon. Is that, first off, the ammo possibility of this weapon is absolutely insane in and out of expeditions. Like, you're not going to have any struggles in getting ammo for this gun. You sometimes have struggles getting shots hitting for some reason, uh, but that kind of goes back and forth. Most of the time, you take out an enemy in one shot, and then you get probably like 10 times your ammo back. You know, it, it is an absolutely insane weapon for just, well, that. It like, literally just eviscerates and evaporates anything you point at. There's nothing that is very good against this weapon. 
and it's just so satisfying. I love the Gauss weapons. I love the Gauss pistol. Now, since we've been spotted, we may as well show you what it's going to do to these enemies out of stealth. And uh, it's much of the same. Like, they, they don't really survive being shot. Um, the overgrown might, but I don't. who cares about them? It's these guys that you want to care about. Look at them. Like, literally. They get completely obliterated out of stealth. Like, there's, there's a, like, let's go for the, like, an arm shot. So, on an arm shot, we can kill them in two hits. You know, if you, you crit them, you can get them at so much easier. You know, there's, there's so many different things you can do to, to try and nerf this weapon, in a sense. And you still absolutely annihilate everything you're up against. Like, then, with arm shots, let's go into stealth again. You know, we're, we're, we're just doing such insane damage. It is just a good weapon. I, I can't stress enough that you should be using this. Even if you want to use it in manual aim as well. You can manual aim this thing. I wouldn't really recommend it because, you know, more effort. But that's just me. I, I, I think the Gauss weapons have been just made so fun, this patch. And I'm very happy with that. So there we have it. The Gauss pistol is an absolute giga chad of a weapon. And if you haven't been using them, I would heavily encourage that you maybe get one and test it out and see how you feel about it yourself. I am loving the explosive variant. The extra damage that the explosion does is absolutely great. And I just, I really enjoy it. I, I can't say much other than that. I have fun with this weapon. Either way, guys, that is today's video. Now, if you do enjoy my videos, like, comment, subscribe. If there's any videos you would like me to make, leave a comment down below in regards to that. And I'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland. <laughs>